Plague Tale Innocence is a narrative-driven game that centers around two kids during the time of the plague. With that being said, this is not a happy story, far from it to say the least. In this review, I will cover what I think this game did well, and what could have been better. But, before we get into this, I want to mention that this is another game I have streamed. If you want to watch my journey, then you may do so at SlothLord1995, where I have many highlights you can watch at your leisure. Or, if you want to see where my adventure leads, I stream Monday through Friday at 10.30pm Eastern. Now that this is out of the way, let's begin the review. So, let's start with the story. As I mentioned, it follows two kids. They're both siblings. You play as Amicia, who is protecting her little brother, Hugo. You both encounter many obstacles and even meet some friends along the way. There is always a doom lingering, whether it's the rare sickness your brother carries, the Inquisition who are after your brother because of his illness, and large hordes of rats. The story is pretty straightforward, but I think it's executed properly, especially in later parts where I felt the game as a whole became more developed. I also felt it was largely predictable, but with a few pleasant surprises. Now let's talk about gameplay. Most of the gameplay is split up between stealth and puzzle solving, and honestly, just like the story, I personally felt it all got stronger the more you progress through the story. As far as the stealth goes, it's not my favorite mechanic, but I think it really holds its own in comparison to other stealth games. But I really think the puzzle aspect is far more interesting. The puzzles aren't hard in the slightest, but they're very intuitive and clever, which really makes you feel good solving them. As you progress through the game, you obtain different items which affect how you solve levels. Some items struggle to maintain relevancy in later parts, but I think they all certainly have a place in your armory. To add on to this, there are different styles of puzzle solving. These styles depend on what you're currently facing. For instance, encounters with humans are more stealth reliant and require you to find proper distractions. Then there are encounters with rats, which I had more fun with because it's kind of the opposite where you want to stay in the light and you want to look for the next light source. Then the game can change things up with boss encounters. There aren't many of these, but they do make up more of the challenge aspect, and honestly I think the majority of them were pretty well thought out. There is one in particular I felt was very good, but I don't want to spoil anything. There is also a crafting aspect to this game. You really want to collect everything you can because you will almost always need these items. You can also upgrade them and it's definitely worth it and will save your life. Now I want to talk about one important issue I had with the game and it really boils down to the characters. Not that the characters are bad, they're fine, but it's more so the dialogue. There's an odd way the dialogue is presented and the voice acting isn't bad, it's just that the lines seem to start immediately after the other ones. This flow of dialogue really sounds robotic and has no natural charm to it, and I think that's really off-putting. Overall though, I definitely don't regret getting this game. It's beautiful and fun. The game did start off really slow, which kinda had me worried, but towards the end I really enjoyed what I was doing. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 and hope to see more stuff from Focus Home Interactive. So there you have it, my review on A Plague Tale Innocence. If you like my review, then please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. If not, I want to hear your thoughts on the game. I'm Slothlord, and I will see you next time.